Welcome to the following presentation of the National Football League on NFL Network. Week 7 on Sunday gets an early start as the NFL wraps up its three-week stay in London. They are going to visit one of the true crown jewels of European sports venues. Wembley Stadium, more than 80,000 seats. New England, Drake May, welcome to Old England as the Patriots are in London for the first time in a dozen years. In the meantime, the Jacksonville Jaguars, it is their home away from home as the Jags play a second straight week in this legendary city. Hi, everybody, and welcome alongside the Hall of Famer Joe Thomas. I am Chris Rose. Steve Weiss is working the sidelines for us as well. Joe, we're at Wembley Stadium, English national team. Plays their home games here. Yeah, so we got football the scarves. and yeah. football, right? Yeah, Pele once said that this is the cathedral of football. I'm not sure he was talking about our game of football or this building exactly, but today this is our cathedral for football. As for the NFL game that's about to take place, a pair of one in five teams, opposite ends of the emotional spectrum. For the New England Patriots, they're coming off their fifth straight loss, a 20-point home loss at that, and everybody's super excited. Why? Because of Drake May. Well, it's hard not to be because of the spark that he provided, not only for this team, but this entire fan base. They drafted him third overall in the last year's draft, and he showed him everything last week, all the reasons why they wanted to draft him third, right? It was the composure he had, the athleticism, and that rocket arm that he had, throwing the ball more than 50 yards in the air to Kayshawn Booty down the sideline for a big touchdown, and he made it look casual and routine like he was in warm-ups. Uh, the Patriots told us they're in rebuild mode. The Jacksonville Jaguars are not. And that's what makes their 1-5 in five record so shocking. Uh, explain to everybody what has gone on so far. Well, if you look at the roster, you can't understand why they're 1-5 because yeah. they've got talent all over the place. But when you watch the film, it makes a lot of sense. There's just not room for critical errors and critical moments over and over and over again in the NFL for teams that want to win. And it's been the sins that they have put upon themselves for the Jacksonville Jaguars, the self-inflicted negatives, penalties, mental errors, drops, all in critical moments. You can't win NFL football games doing those things. All right, the pageantry is about to begin. The fans love that part of the NFL. NFL game. Let's send it down to the public address announcer, Mr. Randy Wright. Ladies and gentlemen, please stand if you are able and remove your hats for the singing of the National Anthem of the United States of America. The colors today are presented by the Royal Air Force Mildenhall Color Guard Team and members of the British Armed Forces. Now the Star Spangled Banner performed by musician third class Robert Novoa from the Naval Forces. What a great atmosphere here at legendary Wembley Stadium. It has been raining on and off all morning, so we will keep our eye on the turf and how that impacts the game. Time right now to welcome in the third member of our broadcast team, Steve Weich. Well, Chris, Patriots quarterback Drake May told us that he fully expects the Jaguars to, quote, heat him up with pressure in just his second NFL start. Now, part of that's because it's inexperience, but also the Patriots will be starting their seventh offensive line combination, something head coach Sherrod Mayo said is clearly not ideal. But that said, his teammates and coaches expect May to build from his debut last week against Houston. And Chris and Joe, remember, we asked Jaguars coach Doug Peterson, if he's going to bring some extra smoke May's way, he gave us a devilish grin and the old Michael Jordan, maybe, I don't know, shrug. So we'll see. Back to you guys. Uh, Chris, I've blocked for a lot of rookie quarterbacks, and we always went into those games knowing we were about to get heated up. And so having the ability to communicate to each other, having the experience playing next to each other is so important so you can make those quick changes and adjust protection if they are bringing heat from somewhere else. Not to point out the obvious, you've blocked for a lot of rookie quarterbacks and a lot of veteran quarterbacks in your day as well. Yeah, none of them look like Drake May. <laughs> <laughs> Ceremonial coin toss taking place and the Jaguars have won the toss they have deferred to the second half so looks like we're going to get an early look at Drake May and that Patriots offense that has yet to sing, score a single point in their opening drive this season and by the way nice to see Jacoby Brissett still the captain of the offense even though he has given way to the rookie quarterback this season 
So it's the Jags, it's the Patriots kicking off a big time Sunday here in week seven in the NFL. For Jacksonville, it's their second straight game in London. They lost 35 to 16 against the Chicago Bears. Here in London on NFL Network, the Patriots coming off a 20-point home loss against the Houston Texans. Getting a good look at Doug Peterson, now in his third year at the helm of Jacksonville, and unfortunately he has had to answer questions about his job security over the last several weeks. When you have a talented roster the way he does and high expectations and your owner comes out before the season and says, hey, this might be the most talented Jaguars roster we've ever had, you start the season one in five, there's going to be a lot of pressure, a lot of calls and questions about the culture that the coaching staff is building in Jacksonville. As you can see in here, it is a Jacksonville home game. <laughs> the sixth round pick, Cam Little, kick things off. Jermichael Hasty, Antonio Gibson back deep at their own goal line for the Patriots. And we are underway here in London. Up toward the 30 and knocked out of bounds. 